What's up amigos? Welcome to Think Builder. If you're new, my name is Antonio and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple hat tone image, put it on a film, and print it. So don't go anywhere. Alright, so first I'm going to show you guys how to make the design. Not exactly, it's actually from a tutorial that I learned. But we're going to get that image. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it to a half tone using Photoshop. No rip software, nothing. It's very simple once you know it. We're going to learn how to print it on the film. And right here, this one I'm using 45 LPI. And then finally, we're going to print a simple half tone with just one color. It looks pretty good as you can tell. Now it's not really that difficult. Once you learn it, it's going to be real simple. And right now, this he said like almost my second time doing half tones and I got better at it. My first time doing half tones was when I was doing with the CMYK and the simulation process print. Kind of difficult to start right off with, but with this a lot easier to begin with. So right now I'm gonna show you guys the how to do it on Photoshop so I can go back in time for a little bit. Then we'll go on to today where I burn it and then print it. All right, so we're on the computer. This image I'm gonna turn to a half tone. And I got this actually from a YouTube tutorial. And I'm gonna explain it here because I'm not really good at it. I'm just gonna link you to that video so you can actually see it. And you can go along with it. Now for this image, the one with John Lennon, in case you can't find a good image, I'll just leave the link of the image that I used for this tutorial. As well, if you don't go through the whole process of doing this little technique I'll just leave the file that way when you open it you'll be looking at what I'm looking at right now so again I recommend you go into that tutorial come back to this video or if you don't want to wait if you don't want to watch the other video just download the file I'll leave in the description and it will pick up from right now okay so this image there and if you do watch the turret, there's another image you're gonna get. It won't be exactly the same because you might do it a bit different. Mine is not exact mine is not exact as the one from the tutorial because you know. Well you know. But anyway, so this is the image. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new document and it's gonna be 11 by 17 because that's the film I'm gonna print it on. The size of the film that I'm going to print on this image. Click OK. I already have the background as black because this is gonna go on a black shirt. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy it. Copy merge. I'm gonna paste it and just fix it. And I'm actually gonna scale this just a little bit smaller because I don't like this white to be right on the edge okay okay and I'm just gonna flatten this and since this is going to go on a black shirt. I want the white to actually be the stencil. So I have to actually invert this image. Or silver invert. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you invert an image, it always looks weird. But don't worry, it's gonna come out okay. So once here, since if I print this on, if I print this right away from right now, it's not going to get a good film. So I'm going to turn this to hat tones. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to image mode, click grayscale, let's click the score. Then again, image mode, bitmap, and the resolution. I just heard that the input and that applies to be exactly the same. Click on that. Half tone, half tone screen, okay. And here, now for the 
because of the LPI. It all depends on you. It depends on also the screen. And there's the formula for that. Let me figure it out real quick. Alright, so I found a page where you can actually find what LPI to best use for a screen that you have, or if you want to use a certain LPI, what mesh to use. And it's right here. And it's right here. So I guess the, the dot size, whatever LPI you want to use, you multiply by 4.5, that equals the mesh count you're going to use. Or if you have a certain mesh, use the divided by 4.5 and they'll determine the LPI that you should use. And here's the website. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can figure that out. But anyways, let me go back to my image. So, I'm going to use 45 because even though I could use a higher mesh because my, even though I could use a higher LPI, the screens that I have are really high mesh. So I'm going to use 45 because I get better results because I did use that banana paper and I'm kind of limited. Even though the Maestro does higher LPI, but I still have issues with this, so I'm going to stick with 45. And for the shape, some people say round works better, some people say lips works better, but I guess you're going to figure that yourself when you're testing. I'm just going to keep it with the lips. Okay, click OK. And there. So basically you have your LPI. Let me zoom in. And you can see the little half tones. So for you guys, you could just print this from your right now you could print it on your printer, but I don't have a printer yet. And what I do is since I do take this to Office Depot, what I do is I save this to a PDF file. I'm going to click save as. This time I'll just put John Lennon LPI. John Lennon 45 LPI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, save it in, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Alright, let me check the file. Desktop. Okay, so here's the PDF, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this to my phone because I lost my USB drive. Go to Office Depot tomorrow, after work, obviously, print it out. I'm going to come home, uh, cut my screen, and I'm going to expose this film, and then we're going to do the print. So uh, I'll check with you guys tomorrow. Okay, amigos, so I have my screen coding, and... Just to save time, I'm gonna hit with the blow dryer. Anyways, it's real humid in here. So. I'm going to expose the first screen, well, the only screen, hopefully, but I'm going to use the second film that I printed, a smaller version, because the first one, yeah, it's too big, and this one looks better. Okay, time to put it in my little exposure table, or exposure unit, I mean. Now, for those that have seen my video, Again, I give this a uh, 1 minute 40 seconds on yellow mesh, yellow and orange mesh, because here we have orange as well. Okay, let's take this outside.
All right, so I finally got done exposing my screen. You can see, not that bad. And again, at first, this was the first film that I printed. Yeah, I realized it looked too big. Maybe I was wrong, but decided to go just a little bit smaller. This is this side. Not that bad. And what do you think? And I was hoping that my the printer that I ordered, the Canon, I was hoping it would right by the time I did this, so I could print one with that one to test it out. But I did. But anyways, I still decided to do it even with this paper. And right now, I'm gonna set up the screen. And I'm gonna try this Ultra Poly White from Sanchez, the one that I got at Festival Mexico. Decided to give it a try to finally test it out. And right now I'm gonna do a test print. And then I'm gonna print a shirt so I can have for me. I tend to get ink on my fingers, on my hands. Finally, I remember to buy gloves. Yeah, this thing's real thick. <laughs> Luckily, I have this kind of gold call Auxilia it's to make it more smooth, more creamy. Let me get back to you because it's going to take a while to mix. Okay, so I'll be beating this. Okay, so I've been mixing this for a while now and getting closer, starting to get smoother, more creamy. Okay, I think we're good. It doesn't even look creamy enough. So I decided to add more of the reducer, you could call it. On the ink, cause it was still too thick, so I decided to add more. What? Okay. 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 Big bag, my kid's calling me. Okay, so now it's really time to do the test print. This. Yeah, the ink is too thick, man. I'm going to, have to prepare. I'm going to have to add more reducer on it because I had a lot more ink because this thing is real thick. I even asked them if I needed to add a reducer to this thing, and they said no, that's perfect. Obviously not. But at the same time, it's okay because, again, if you add more of this little auxiliar, my bad, this auxiliar reducer, aka reducer, you basically make more ink. But anyway, so as I, I push more, it's going to get thinner. So the second coat. Looks good, but it's not that bright. I'm gonna do another pass on it. Okay, so here's the print. Not that bad. Now, obviously, here I didn't get the, all the hat tones, so I'm gonna block this out. Cause if I block this out. It looks pretty good, but other than that, not that bad. So I'm gonna cure in. Place my shirt. Woo. 
meantime, I'm gonna plug. See, so I can plug that on, and it's gonna look perfect, man. I'm just switching the ink for the new one that I just add more auxiliar. Okay, so now it's time to add my shirt. Okay, Mago, so we're done. Here's the final print. Looks pretty awesome, man. Um, this actually came out better than I expected. When I burned the screen, for a moment I was doubting that it came out perfect. I was thinking I would burn another one, but I decided not to. And uh, glad I did it because you know, it came out perfect. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I was hoping that. Because I did order the printer, the Canon printer, and I was going to print on actual screen printing film to compare with this one with the banana, but hasn't arrived yet. Probably will arrive tomorrow. But, but again, sometimes, just to show you guys, again, this is a banana, not transparency film. Office Depot, not that much dark of the print. I was still able to get a nice print, so don't go all worry about that. You need, you know, the uh, how do you say, a badass printer. It would help, but that shouldn't uh, slow you down on trying these kind of prints. But anyway, so that's all to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully, it helps out one of you guys out there who are learning. Go with to start off with half tones because it could do some amazing prints. So I guess we're done. And again, I've been trying to do this print like almost a week now. I actually went live. No, I didn't went live. I uploaded a video on Instagram and Facebook where I was talking about my little issues because this took longer than I expected. But yeah, but I'm glad I finally got out this way, have a video up so you can see it. And before I go, again, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. And besides that, if you have any questions, either about this video or anything else, just leave them in the comments below, or you could send me a message through any of those social media platforms. And I'll see you guys next time, amigos.